Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to scale and how to move objects inside GBrush. So this, uh, this was a question from one of my Udemy students. Uh, I think his name is Matthew. So, so let's see how to scale and how to move objects inside GBrush. So as you can see, this is a by default uh, scene. You can import it uh, from this light box and double clicking on this icon here and this uh, scene has multiple sub tools i can see if i hold alt and left click on any of these objects these are kind of highlighted because those are a separate object if i go to sub tool you can see those are separate objects that means we can select those holding alt and left click and then we can move scale and rotate those so let's see how to scale those first so let's say I imported this piece and it comes smaller so I need to scale it uh, to fit something so now in order to scale you have these options here move scale and rotate so let's click on let's say first the move so let's click on the move here if you are using a newer version uh, let's say GBrush 2018 then you have this gizmo option so this is a kind of very similar to any 3d application like maya but if you are using a lower version than this 2018 let's say 4r8 something then you don't have this option there so you have just the traditional uh, gizmo so let's turn this off and uh, let's see with this gizmo so click on the move tool and you will see something like this so this is the traditional gizmo you can drag anywhere like this so just drag and then you have this kind of uh, three circle and then some x y direction so if i want to drag this line straight horizontal then you can hold shift like this and from the center i can move freely you can see I have two circle here this orange and then the white circle so if you want to move it freely then just go to the center circle from this three and then go to the center white circle so once it's highlighted then drag your mouse or the you know, pen then you can move it freely let's say you just want to move in x axis or y axis then you need to hold shift so now this manipulator is set to x axis this no left right thing is the x and the up right is y so now it's set to x axis so i can move it in x axis by holding shift key and then moving from the center now you can see uh, it just con you no know, moving in the x axis it's not moving in any other direction so you just need to hold shift if you don't hold shift it's free if you hold shift and then it's going to move in just x axis if you want to move it in y axis then you need to click on this y icon here or here and now you have you have this manipulator aligned to y axis now you can hold shift again and then drag to move in y axis so you can move x y constantly by holding shift or you can move it freely from the center by without holding shift and dragging so this is the way you move so let's see how to move here and fit it so i'm going to hold shift and then let's freely move it like this then rotate the view sorry you can align it like this and let's say you just need you just want to move this you no know, manipulator you can uh, do that by holding holding the manipulator from any of this circle outside and you can drag this manipulator like this or you can go to center and move the entire manipulator here you can do that or you can redrag and create it again so now i'm going to move it in x-axis so hold shift and just move in x-axis lining let's move it in y-axis holding shift and moving so this way you can move let's see how to scale so go to scale and again the manipulator is basically you no know, same but now it's going to work uh, like scaling so if i go to the center now it's going to scale in 
in this direction because the axis is set x so it's going to you know scale it in the opposite here if you want to scale it in this direction then switch to y and then scale you can see because the pivot is here it's scaling this side you can bring it to the center somewhere and then hold shift and drag you can see it's kind of scaling from the center so it's basically stretching if you want to scale it proportionally uh, just to, you want let's say you just want to make it a bigger bag or a smaller bag you can go to this end so this is the starting and then this is the ending of the pivot so go to end hold shift and then drag you can also do this without holding shift so this end circle is scaling in proportionally and then you can also rotate something like this this is the pivot and from that pivot it's being rotated like this again you can move it from the outside circle and let's say you want to make this point the pivot you can do that you can see it's rotating from that point so again you can hold shift and rotate from the center now it's rotating in this x axis you want to rotate in y axis so you can again switch to y put it at the center hold shift you can rotate in y so this way you are going to move scale and rotate your objects and you know uh, you can fit those anywhere i hope i have answered the questions thank you so much See you in the next video.